So the the league had uh, released an article today, and I'm going to try to bring this up here. My league, speak the name of your oppressor, Michael. My oppressor. <laughs> the A R R L. ARRL board establishes program to cover initial FCC license fee for young applicants. So, uh, the basically the you know, board of directors formally endorsed proposed program calling on the, to cover the thirty-five dollar application fee for licensed candidates younger than eighteen years old. And the FCC, you know, they they continue on saying expecting to implement the fee sometime next year. Mm. So. Uh, the program concept first raised as the board's annual meeting in January was reviewed by an ad hoc committee, which expanded the scope of the original motion by ARRL Southeastern Division Director Mickey Baker. So, uh, and Joe, you you kind of you kind of had some questions or you some thoughts on this. So okay. why don't you start so, off first? To summarize, what they're doing is is that they are going to. Uh, sup they're going to basically pay the thirty-five dollar uh, fee for individuals who test who are under the age of eighteen. In addition, they are going to change the fee that is associated with taking the test from fifteen dollars to five dollars for those who are under eighteen. Now, I. I think this is a uh, this is a pretty big commitment by the league. Uh, they, I think they put a, a number in here that said it's sort of a thousand new applicants under eighteen years of age per mm -hmm. year. So right off the bat, that's thirty five thousand. No, yeah, thirty five thousand dollars. Yes, correct. That they're going to put out of you know our money, you know those who are members uh, towards that. Additionally, you can also figure that they are going to take ten thousand dollars out of the budget from the BEC because they're going to bring that fee down by ten dollars. Yeah. So that's a forty-five thousand dollar commitment. Let's just call it fifty thousand dollars. Okay, that's uh, that's a pretty big step. Uh, I'll say that. Does it motivate? An individual under the age of 18 to get their license that i don't know that's 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 the that's the question i have right. and i my first impression is that it probably won't mm -hmm. uh i i i don't think the i, I you know the, i know the testing fee is not and i and i'm i'm fairly confident that the uh license fee Mm -hmm. is not going to be a barrier entry for youth under the age of 18 to get their license. Maybe if they were paying the full ride, you know, it's, that might be the case, but, um, having, yeah. you know, having children of that age and we paid, you know, we paid for tons of stuff right. and I'm you know, $30, $35 or something. That's pretty cheap. I think, yeah. I think my wife went and <laughs> my daughter up for seventh grade. And I think we wrote a check for close to 200 for the year. Oh and yeah. For like a couple of sports and a couple of basic things. Um, $35 or something that lasts a minimum of 10 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. That sounds like a deal. Um, and if I, I, I that, and you are exactly right. Is the, is the num is a dollar amount the impetus for someone for a young person to get a license or not? Yeah. I don't think so. Now I know the league for the past couple of years has been doing some research, some surveys, things of that nature to try to encourage youth to get their license. And I applaud that. Um is this a direct result of that the that work that they've done? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to give it a cautious thumbs up. Um, I'd like to see after a year or two if the numbers improve. Yeah, and I, I think you got to do a little more than just six months or a year. You got to do it a couple of years, and that's that's a commitment. One hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars, right there. There you go. But you know. It, the, the league is putting their money where their mouth is, and I appreciate that. 
but there is some cautious optimism on this one as well. I I would I wish they'd put more development into education programs for you. Mm-hmm. Maybe a curriculum for young people. You know, if you look the the, the meat does have a curriculum spread um, both in their manuals and they have uh, PowerPoints and other things available to instructors. Uh, but they're definitely more geared towards adults. Yeah. If we took this two hundred thousand dollars over the next four years and put that towards more education uh, materials for younger people, because younger people do learn differently than adults, mm-hmm. um, or even more promotional stuff to try to get the information out to young people, uh, would that be better served? Uh, I'm just, I'm just talking right now. Again. Yeah, yeah. But, you know what? Yeah. But yeah, let, let's let's see how it goes, and we'll take it from there. Because it's only so fifty dollars out of my pocket once a year. So I guess maybe I'm funding one kid. You know, mm-hmm. it's like like those two A uh, info versus for fifty dollars a year, you could sponsor a young operator. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They'll send you a QSO card in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> With a picture of them, they'll tell you where they made their last contact. Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> Sally Skinner will be the spokesperson. <laughs> Cliff says, compared to what some pay pay for sports, fifty dollars for a license is a drop oh, in the bucket. Oh, yes, thank you. So, have you seen hockey moms? Oh my goodness, Holy mother! I mean, you plus, know, bunch, like the hockey moms, I know they spend a couple grand on their kids a year. Oh yeah, between oh, yeah. equipment and driving, and at the time being doing concessions. So, ten years ago, my daughter was seven years, uh, twelve years ago. She was like seven years old. We thought, mm-hmm. well, maybe we'd take her and see what you know the thing about youth hockey. And we went there, and right away, no one, none of us were interested in youth hockey. <laughs> we still get emails telling us we need to show up for a concession stand. Twelve years later. Mm-hmm. Really. <laughs> Fundraising. I was going to bring up scouts. Scouting is, you know, is has gotten expensive by the time. Yeah, it's just like sports. You know, by the time you buy the equipment and the uniforms and um, yep. pay all of the dues and all the fees, it's it's just it's just crazy. So absolutely. absolutely. So uh, so you know, a, a license. You know, once a ten year ten year fee for uh, a license is yeah, dropping a bucket. Mm-hmm. So. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.